Good morning guys, I'm back in my own kitchen today and we are cooking barbecued spare ribs. Great, everybody loves these. It's a great recipe to do outside on the barbecue and I'm gonna show you all the tips and secrets on how to get amazing ribs just like these. These are pork ribs, we've got a nice barbecue mop in there and uh, it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. It's really, really easy and uh, check in with me later on in the show and I'll show you each stage as it goes. And Jesse, can I have a coffee please? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt, but Jesse's a little busy today. That's right, we're making smoky barbecue ribs and we've got these beautiful baby back ribs here. That's what you want, so they've been cut here. They're nice and um, petite, full of meat. This is what you want to get. Right, we've got the meat. It's going to take a few hours, but you need to get some flavour in there, so we're going to make a rub first. We've got a nice selection of ingredients here. Um, some onion flakes or onion powder, so I'll get a little bit of that in there. We're going to crush it all down. Got a little bit of garlic powder as well, gives us a nice kick. And it's great to use all the powders because then that rubs it on the meat, sort of marinates and penetrates the meat, and then as it smokes, it creates this nice little crust. Um, black peppercorns, works well with pork. And what I like to put in as well is some coriander seeds. It gives this nice sort of fresh orangey fruitiness to it and a little bit more texture on the outside. Right, so I'm gonna start grinding these down a little bit. Still quite textured at this point. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in here. And also I'm going to put some paprika in here. Okay, so this is the colour, nice bit of flavour. You know, this is just a plain one, but if you wanted to use the smoked one, you're very welcome to. But we're going to glaze it with this beautiful smoky chilli barbecue sauce afterwards, so I'm not after any extra smoke. So keep grinding, get it, get it down to sort of like a, you know, a semi-fine powder. Probably takes a minute or two, you know. If you want to make it a little bit easier, put it in the little magic bullet or in the blender, you know, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> Let's put it in the blender. <laughs> right, there you go. It's our spice mix ready to go. All we need to do now, get our ribs. I'm just going to put a light layer of oil on there. You know, not too much. You just want to rub it now and just make sure you've got a nice sort of fine layer of oil all over the ribs and that's gonna help the marinade stick. Okay, and then quite a lot of this on here. You know, be really, really generous. Make sure you do both sides. And you wanna sort of push it, push it in and rub it in. You know, get a really good coating. So flip it over. Okay, give it a really good rub. And then all those bits which will fall off, you know, stick them back on. And you know what you want to do if you've got a little bit more time? Do this a couple of hours before or even the night before. Really get all those flavours starting to marinate in there. And then for a little bit of extra flavour, what I like to do, you don't need to do this, get a little bit of fresh ginger. So just peel it, get a nice little uh, nugget, microplane, and then just microplane it. Once you've done it, because it all sticks to the other side, you just scrape it off, just put a few little dots around, and then just rub that in as well. And that just gives you a nice bit of freshness to the rib as well, which is really good, that sort of gingery spice. And there you go, that's our ribs. It's ready for the barbecue, so let's go and put them on. All right, let's get the ribs on the egg. All right, open it up. We've got the coals there, we've got some nice heat in there. We've got the heat deflector, we've got a little pot of water, and then let's pop your, pop your ribs straight on. They're gonna go in there, we're gonna close the lid, we're gonna get it back up to temperature, probably about 120 degrees, and we're gonna cook this for about sort of two hours, two and a half hours, maybe three hours, just depending. What you wanna do is a slow, steady cook, so you wanna keep an eye on it, if it drops, you need to put out, uh, open up the vents, a little bit more air in there. If it gets too high, we want to sort of shut them down a bit. So it's all about slow cooking and control. So I'm just going to get it back up to temperature and I'll close the vents off. Right, let's check our pork ribs. So it's been about an hour in the barbecue now. You can see the rubs starting to crust over. Look at all that flavour, you can almost taste it. Right, still going to take another hour, hour and a half to cook. But what we need to do now is rub it and start glazing it with a mop. Not a real mop, we're going to make a mop. 
and I'm going to tell you what it is. So basically what it is is a barbecue sauce and it's been loosened with a bit of apple cider vinegar or vinegar, something sour, and that's going to glaze our ribs. And as it cooks, it's going to just suck up all that sort of smoke and flavour in the barbecue and just reduce ever so slightly and build up this beautiful sticky crust around our um, pork ribs. It's going to be fantastic. So really easy to do, a mop. So I've got some apple cider vinegar, which I'm just going to put in here. And then you can make your own barbecue sauces or to make it even easier, just go and buy one from the supermarket. So I've got a selection over here. So these are really good and these are ones that I like to use at home. Um, you know, you've got lots of different um, flavors in here, but this is a classic um, barbecue bourbon sauce from Cully's. Uh, real American characteristics of this sauce. So all you want to do is just pop it in there. Now get a good amount in there, mix it up, and then we're going to start glazing. You can leave it like that or if you want a bit of extra flavour and a little bit of spice as well, there's a whole range of these chilli sauces. And this is another one which I like, the chipotle chilli. So these are smoked chilies. Um, gives you a nice bit of heat, but gives you a wonderful smoky flavour. So that works really well with the barbecue sauce and also the wood. So just get a little bit in here as well. And then give this a good stir around. So that's the sort of consistency what we want. It's quite loose, but it's sort of thick at the same time little brush and we just want to brush it over okay looks really runny at the moment but as it keeps cooking it's gonna you know glaze up and go sticky look at that so pop that on you know so do it to both sides and then we're going to pop the lid back on keep it at that nice slow steady temperature about 110, 120 degrees, and keep cooking it for another hour, hour and a half. And you know when the ribs are done, when they're just falling off the bone, that's what you're looking for. So if it takes a bit longer, just keep cooking it a bit longer. Right, let's check these ribs out. Oh, look at that. See, they're just slowly cooking. You can see that glaze is just sort of starting to get sticky and go around it. Gonna give it another quick brush and then we'll pop the lid back on. These are nearly, nearly ready. They will be ready by the end of the show, I promise you guys. All right, look at that. Lid down, keep cooking. Brilliant. It doesn't matter if they'll be ready by the end of the show because you're not here. It's so unfair that we're not going to be getting to taste those ribs. I know. Oh, obviously we miss Mark Oh too. yes, no, we do miss Mark because he's not got a spoon with him today anyway. Just going to cut them off. So just in between the bones, just gently cut them. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. There you go. I'll get one. Wish you guys were here because this is absolutely amazing. But sadly, again, you guys aren't, so we'll have to eat it. Cheers, Gracie. Mmm. Mm. Oh, this is good. They're missing out. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Are you not sad? <laughs> no. We are really missing out. Thank you, Mark. So hungry. Oh, no. <laughs> it's all right, because you can get the full recipe on our website. You just don't have Mark to cook it. Mark's cooking again from home tomorrow, and he's doing wood-fired pizza.